Okay, okay. I think I understand the passive voice now. So yeah. first you have the subject, then some form of verden, and then you have the past participle of the verb. Mm -hmm. But I just have one question. So how do I find the past participle? Ah, the past participle. Have you not heard of the three-step method, Alex? The three-step method? The three-step method. I think you're in need of a whirlwind review. That yeah, seems like it. <laughs> okay. Finding the past participle, a three-step method. Okay, so Numa eins, take off any prefixes to reveal the main infinitive. So here we got some verbs. We're going to common versuchen aufheben. We're going to take off any prefixes. Look what happens here, Alex. All right. So we've got the main infinitive there. Okay, All that's right, what we would do first. Now the second step would be to check the German strong verb list. Do you know where to find something like that or an irregular verb list? No, where would I find that? Okay, you can, you can find it in a dictionary, you can find it in your German textbook, but if you don't find it in either of those two places, you can just put German strong verb list on Google search and you will find it. And that list will come up. Now, when you look onto this list, if you find the verb you're looking for on the list, use it okay seems simple enough those for example those are on that list gebracht gehoben now there is a tip here reattach the prefix if necessary so if you had a prefix on there you got to put it back look look on these for example zurückgebracht so the zurück goes in front of the gebracht and on this one aufgehoben okay so that's step two now, you check the German strong verb list. What about if the verb is not on the list, then it is weak. It's weak, okay? And by weak, we mean it follows the rules. It's not strong enough to do its own thing. It follows the rules. So, what do you have to do? You take that verb, you take the stem, and you remove anything from the stem. So, if we got two verbs there, trennen und sammeln, we're going to take that ending off of there, and we've got the stem. Then we're going to add a T to the end. And then we add a GE prefix to the beginning. And then we have our participle. See that? Getrennt und gesammelt. All right, I get it now. You get it? Now, there's one thing though. Look at that word. Look at it on that C. Add the GE prefix unless. So you add the GE prefix unless. Unless, so you're saying that it doesn't always take the GE prefix? You're right. Let's have a look at this, okay? To form a past participle, you add the GE prefix to the beginning of that stem unless the verb has a non-separable prefix. Okay. A non-separable prefix? Right, let's look at a list of these, okay? B, ent, er, fair. Okay, so you probably recognize those prefix from other words. Let's give a couple examples here. Besucht, for example. So you don't say ge besucht. You don't say ge erzählt, erzählt. You don't say ge versucht. Okay, those are inseparable prefixes, so we don't add a GE. But there's also another time when we don't add a GE prefix. Another time? Yeah, verbs that end with ihren suffix. Okay, and you know these two like sortiert, fotografiert, oder studiert, and there's many more. Notice that those participles don't have the GE in front. All right, I, I can see that. So, Herr Ka, are the students ready for the Aufgabe now? They're ready for the Aufgabe. Let's have a look. Aufgabe. Okay, students, rewrite the statements in the passive voice. Leave out the agent, the doer, in all of your answers, except for the last. Let's look at these sentences, Alex. Wir verbrauchen zu viel Energie. Ja, ich spare Geld. Trinkst du Mineralwasser? Wir schaden der Umwelt. Und Alex wirft eine Dose in die Tonne. Hey, that's me. Okay, yeah. Let's do an example, Alex, just to make sure the students are on the right track, okay? So you help me do Numa Eins, okay? Now, if we're doing Numa Eins, we're going to convert this active sentence to a passive sentence. What do you think is going to be the subject of the passive sentence? Putting you on the spot here. Energie. 
Energie, okay? Zu viel Energie. Now we're going to have a helping verb come after that because it's a passive sentence. So, form of werden. Form of werden, wird. And then we're going to end with that famous uh, type of word called a participle. But here, isn't there some special rule about verbrauchen? There is. You're right. It's got a V-E-R uh, prefix, so we're not going to say ge verbraucht. That would sound really weird. We're just going to say verbraucht. So that's the sentence. The remaining sentences the students are on their own for. However, do you remember it says leave out the agent and the doer in all of the answers except for the last. Hmm. In number five, you are going to be mentioned in the passive sentence. So That's exciting. <laughs> There's going to be a phone in there. So just a warning to students will be used in sentence number five. So, das war's, Alex. Tschüss. Tschüss.